Linen explains the rules of international rules football. The object of the game is for your team to score more points than the opposing team. International rules football, sometimes referred to as compromise rules football, is a hybrid sport that combines Gaelic football from Ireland and Aussie rules football from Australia. Both sports are played similarly and it might help to watch my videos on both games. The links are down below. International rules football is played with two teams of 15 players each on a rectangular field that's generally a maximum of 145 meters by 85 meters. The ball is a round ball, just like in Gaelic football. The goals are six and a half meters wide and the crossbar is two and a half meters above the ground, just like in Gaelic football, with the addition of wide posts, just like in Aussie rules football. If a player successfully kicks the ball under the crossbar into the net, this is a goal and is worth six points. If a player kicks or deflects the ball over the crossbar but between the goalposts, this is an over and this scores three points. If a player kicks or deflects the ball between a long goalpost and a short behind post, this is a behind and this scores one point. The game is played in four 18 minute quarters for a combined playing time of 72 minutes. High score at the end of time wins. Surely it's not that simple. Well, the basic concept of the game is simple enough, but moving the ball around the field is the most difficult part to understand. You can move the ball by kicking it out of your hands, kicking it along the ground, and running with the ball so long as it's no more than six steps or roughly 10 meters. If after 10 meters you want to keep the ball, you must bounce the ball on the ground to be eligible to take another six steps. You are only allowed to bounce the ball twice before disposing or getting rid of the ball. You can also choose to move the ball by tapping it off your foot, known as soloing, just like in Gaelic football, and you can do this as many times as you like. A player can catch the ball with his hands in the air, a player can hand pass to a teammate, however, a team cannot hand pass on four successive occasions. If you kick the ball in the air 15 meters or more, and a teammate catches it without the ball bouncing on the ground, this is known as a mark or marking the ball. The player is then awarded a free kick from that spot. Got it so far? Good, because there's more. There are 15 members of the opposing team who are trying to take the ball away from you so that they can score themselves. They are allowed to make contact with any opponent so long as they have the ball, or if no one has possession, make contact with any opponent within a five meter radius of the ball. They are allowed to use their hands to block shots or to knock the ball out of your grasp. Just like in Aussie rules football, you are allowed to tackle the ball carrier. This is where you grab the ball carrier under the shoulders and above the waist and pull them to the ground. If they do tackle you and you had a chance to get rid of the ball, this results in a free kick to the tackling team. That's a lot to take in, but there's a few other things you'll need to know before playing or going to a game. For example, free kick. A free kick is a restart in play, usually after a player has broken one of the rules or after a tackle. If a foul or tackle occurs, a free kick is awarded at that spot. When taking a free kick, a player can kick the ball from his hands or from the ground. Order off. For serious offenses, a player can be sent off with a yellow card, but a substitute they will place in, or a red card, where you are sent off the pitch without a substitute replacement. 20 meter penalty. If a team has had a free kick awarded against them, depending on the severity, a referee may also add a 20 meter penalty to it. This is where the non-offending team can take their free kick 20 meters closer to the goal. Penalty kick. A free kick offense in the goalkeeper box may result in a penalty kick. The ball is placed on the ground at the 30 meter line and only the goalkeeper can guard the net. Just like in soccer, it's one kick only and any goals scored count towards the overall score. Interchange. A team is allowed to substitute a certain number of players per period. To do this, they must swap players in the designated interchange area. Free kick or mark after the siren. Similar to Aussie rules football, if a free kick or mark has been awarded but time runs out, the game doesn't end there. You are allowed to take the kick. This means that games can be won or lost with no time left on the clock. Remember to watch my videos on Gaelic football and Aussie rules football to get a solid grounding of the rules. But if you have found this video at all helpful, please like, share and subscribe. It takes me ages to make one of these things and good karma is very much appreciated. Follow me on Twitter also, but in the meantime, enjoy international rules football.